and welcome to Captive. This is how you will be greeted on this game. And we have five monitors up the top here. Red, green, yellow, blue and camera. I've already given the, the droids names. As you can see I've called them Lankin on each four of them. That one. Just don't do anything when you right click, click. But if you want to look at the skills, this is where you spend your skills. So you got your robotics and brawling, and it will go swords, handguns, rifle, automatics, lasers, cannons, and spray guns. Incidentally enough, the spray guns are spelt incorrectly on the on this version. So. Okay, you've got your experience, this is how much experience you will earn, so you have to earn that to spend on that. That's very imperative to know this. You've got your dexterity, and you've got your vitality and your wisdom. I've chosen to name all my droids Lankin, just for ease of thingy. So we've got, they're all on 15, so they're higher, the highest you can actually assign. Your health is 78 of 80, total health is 78, 789 for your red and yellow, and 1189 for your green and blue, because red and yellow are both human styles, green and blue are both Tindran styles. So there we go, there's that one. This is your hollow map. This is your screen. This is what your droids are seeing. Depending, the droids that are seeing it is basically depending on who's got the crown above their head. If it's red, green, blue, and yellow. So at the moment it's on red. So this is basically they've all got a camera, and you just basically turn one of the cameras on, you can't have them all turned on obviously, but there you go. There's your, where you are, that's where the ship is, and that's where you need to go, there's, I think there's about 52 planets and loads of moons, but all you're seeing on this view is the white dots, they are planets, the brown dots are moons. So there's, there's that, there's your orbit and your land, which you will need to when you go onto a planet. I'll show you on that one. And you've got these two will change to diagonal left and diagonal right. Then you have the up one, so it goes up, you go down, and you go across left, across right, you you zoom in and you zoom out. So that's that. Here's your droid thing. This is where you either assign who's the seeing seeing droid. Here's where you see the health and the power. Very important to keep an eye on. They've all got them, so you've got to know when to use them. To go into the infantry, you just right click on one of the thing and you enter the infantry. So, you've got your load and your save, but you need to change your disk for you to be able to just load and save. Then you've got your skill point skills in one place, or your infantry in one screen. So there we go. There's your attack hands. You can place things on there, like your weapon, and your pot of gold, or anything on there. So, there we go, your snooze, your sleep button, basically, to make time go that little bit quicker. If you're waiting for a mine to explode, just click the snooze, and there we go. Or if you're on the hollow map and you're waiting for the ship to be at your destination, that's where it is. And you'll pause. Your party on hold, nothing changes, nothing happens. As soon as you hit that button, the party.
party is on hold and there we go down here is your remote control these will control up here and there's one to control that down there turn that off that disappears you turn it on it reappears down the bottom it's always important to have that i i believe especially when you're on the planet or in, in the base so you know if there's anyone attacking you when you're on this screen and plus that appears when it's when you're in the shop always handy you're always going to make sure your area is clear before you go into the shop so there we go so these will control the top screens red green yellow blue and your camera is that one so they're all there so there you go turn these off they will they will come in handy later on when you buy your optics and scopes your devices shall we say and this here is your screen your preference screen so not really an important one for you but there you go what we're going to do I'm going to show you how I play and then we're going to load into the level so you go onto the planet I'll show you the planet is called Buta so that's the planet you're looking for so it is two two squares up from where you are and to your left in, in this square here okay just click on the thingy sorry I like to do that and now you press this orbit and that goes in the cross and it says flight path set at the bottom here so there we go now all we do is hit the snooze button and wait for it to wake up when the ship arrives which has arrived now and what the ship or swan does is what's called swan will orbit the planet as you can see it's orbiting clockwise with a little dot on there so there we go right, we land by pressing the land button and a little lander comes out of the ship and that's where you are now you're going into the planet onto the planet so this is how I will do it okay so you've got to bear with me a second here I'll show you how to do this easily takes a little while to load but there we go I'll go forward twice turn left there here we go here's a dot we are basically going to be a Attacking these dinosaurs, there's two of them here. So just attack them. So they succumb to them. Just pick up. Yeah, don't do anything. Keep attacking me. I don't care. There we go, we've got 336 pieces, gold pieces there. This is what you're collecting, this is what you need to pay for your goodies. Don't land on any of this water. Trust me, you will not like it. So... And the, you'll head, head back the wall. Show you how it sounds like if you hit it running into a wall. Uh. There, ew. 
and then you pick your version and then go back around just in case you see any more dinosaurs. Attacking is to a guy, I suppose. There you go, picking up the money. Sometimes it becomes, becomes out of reach, so that does annoy me sometimes. But remember, this water outside the base is very dangerous. So then you go back to the to the spaceship, to the lander, and then you hit this arrow up button to say, get me back on board. So that's what you've got to, basically what you do, and how, what this does, you collect the money, and you collect the message from that, you do that 88 times. 20, 40, 60, 80, well, 87 times, or 86 times, 85 times, should we say. The reason being, I will show you in a minute, you will get cash for it once you get to a shop. Right, the other reason, apart from the money and the messages, is this. You start, you earn experience as well. So you're actually wanting to earn this. Do this very quickly, just like so. And that's how you spend the experience. If you don't want to, you can use spend robotics, but it's not very vital until you get to the next level, which you'll get to put it on robotics eventually anyway. So, there. Every time your droid gets hit, you'll lose life, and if your droid gets incumbent or over, overbearing on the way, you'll lose more power and you slowly work. So, what I'm going to do now, this is how I do things. I've already got a save game, so I'm going to land it and go into the water and show you what it does. Not very pretty, to say the least. And you, land, you land on the planet again, so you're loading, it takes time to load each time, so just, and how, oh, let me, let me, <coughs> you do get stronger, so there you go, took me, I don't know why I'm collecting that, because I'm going to show you what it does if you land, go into this water. Are you ready? Here we go. It will hurt you so badly and as I say, that was just what it does. So and the screen that come with it, come on. So and you go you get thrown straight back into to the beginning of the game. If you haven't saved it, well that's tough luck on you guys. School remember to save Frequent and safe often.